Hello, welcome to Gotta Be Real Movie Reviews with Tommy Hi. and Jules. And right now we're reviewing, <gasps> don't you do it, <laughs> Scream. Why can't, I, why can't I be the next Scream Queen? How, you want to hear it? Uh, we can't hear it now. Uh, you know, there's other okay. people in this house. All right. Well, so at some point, Jamie Lee Curtis. They'll be thinking you I'm know? strangling you or something. I'm, she finally that would broke be fun. her. She finally broke Jules. That would be and Jules fun. has lost her dang mind. <laughs> But you know what? Jamie Lee's got to retire I, someday. Yeah. So and she's the OG of it. So never want to step on her toes. But I can, I respect. can, I can scream. Yes. One day I'm gonna show y'all. All okay. Right. So let's come on. Let's talk about. Let's talk about Scream, who, which is also the name of the first Scream. I know. So now when I went to type this in, it was pulling up the old one. So I had to put in Scream 2022. We have not found the reason why they did this. No. And I didn't do that deep of a dive, but the dive that I did, I didn't see the reason. I, I don't know. So if some Maybe of you guys sense. know or want to tell us, know, let us know. You know, we, we don't, don't know everything. Get it. <laughs> but we don't even get it. I mean, they didn't put we like scream. We don't proclaim new millennium. To know everything. We, something. Look, we're Gen just, Z. Let's say something in there to yeah. differentiate. We're just like your next door neighbor girlfriends. Whatever, yeah. Just talking about these movies. We don't know everything. <laughs> but scream and scream. Yeah, scream. All right, okay. so Scream is rated R. Mm -hmm. Who is our favorite person in Scream? Nev Campbell. Welcome S back. Sydney Prescott. And then my second Sydney. one? Yeah. <laughs> uh, Courtney Cox, right? That's but I love Gil Weathers in here with her nosy self. Do you? But and I love Dewey David Riley. Arquette. Yes. David Arquette is back as Dewey. I they said that Dewey. on the set, people were waiting to see them, you know, mm -hmm. reunite and stuff. It's just I great. mean, they have a child together, so they obviously see each other in real life. But I get it. I get it. It's just so fun seeing the yeah. OGs in a movie paying homage, you know. Yeah. Because some of these Generation Z or whatever, they don't get half the stuff. And I like that we know the origin of it. Like, we're, yes. we were there from the beginning. And that's what's fun. That's what's fun about movies like this. So, yeah. so those are the OGs. Mm -hmm. And the okay. new Gs, uh -huh. the new, <laughs> the new, <laughs> uh, Melissa Barrera, she mm -hmm. plays Sam Carpenter, mm -hmm. um, Jack Quaid. You know, I, I don't know if I knew this before and I forgot or what, why Randy was I living under a rock, but he is the son of Randy Quaid and Meg Ryan. Okay. Okay. And he did seem, he does look familiar. He looks like his parents. I'm surprised he and kept his name because a lot of them, um, when they go off on their own, their parents were, you know already big name sometimes they'll change their last name just because they want to make their own way but i'm right. surprised he kept his but that's I mean, cool good for him kudos good. yeah he's he's good on his own mm -hmm. merits because like i said i, I didn't really think about it <laughs> uh mikey madison is amber frieda mm -hmm. uh frieda jenny ortega and dylan minette plays Wes hicks okay and Wes. that character was named after Wes craven, Wes craven. we miss him so much mm-hmm Yes, we do. Rest in peace. Oh, that's what this movie was missing is Wes. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, let's talk about Scream. You want me to scream? No. Okay. You, you just kind of stopped <laughs> mid-sentence. I said, let's, let's talk about like, Scream. Oh, okay. 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 I was like, so sex? Because I, I went straight to salt and pepper. It's kind of about sex. Wrong thing. Okay. Oh, I said, let's talk about Scream. All right. So this sex. is 25 years after the original series uh, of Murders in Woodsboro. A new ghost face emerges, and Sydney Prescott must return to uncover the truth. So we got a copycat. Yeah, we. That's do. one of real uh, our Sydney and Dewey and Gail wants to reel them back in, right? Yeah. So the OGs got to come back. Like, listen here, we didn't done this how many times? Right. You failed how many times? Right. Go sit down somewhere. You know that Sydney of uh, Nev Campbell. She was the one. She she uh, what do you call it? Improved. The, the part where she said, I'm Sydney Prescott, of course I have a gun, or however All she right. <laughs> yeah, I she like put her. that in herself, because that was not in the original writing. And what I like is they didn't play damsels, and you're going to see <laughs> where. I love it when I see a girl who's not sitting there screaming, oh my gosh, Joshua, he's killing him. Get up, grab the bat, grab the bottle, help him. Yes. All three of y'all help him. Don't be sitting there being some little damsels in distress. But they weren't in here. And I love that scene. Yeah, I hate when people are like, there's a murderer. Like, <laughs> help yourself. <laughs> help 
yourself. If anybody, like, run. Or don't just sit and scream. Yeah, don't just stand just there ahead, and just, watch. But you know what? Stand there. Let Hi. everybody else get away. You go ahead and be the bait, you get a weapon. silly rabbit. If the weapon's Something. on the ground, pick it up. I don't care what it is. Don't just look at it and let the killer see that, oh. Well, also, you need to double tap. Me. If you got a gun, you need to double tap. Thank you. Okay? If you got a knife, and plus, you need to go to, for the carotid arteries. Why are we still going for chest shots? Shoot in the yeah. head. Have At least once you get him down. From Walking Dead. You know what I'm saying? There are. There Wasting are thousands and thousands of bullets when you could have just took one to the brain. Bulletproof vest. One people. to the down. You know this. You know this. Okay, we're going to calm it. We're going to calm it down. Just, just a screen. Right, so Let's see if we get past my Let me bring this back okay. because we're talking about West. So 25 to, years. 25 so years. First yeah. of all, they all still look good. They do. Especially Sidney Prescott. They all still look good. And they all still got the original character. You know that feel about them? They all still have it, even though they just got reeled into getting back into this thing again. So now they got to be like, okay, now we got to come save the day again. I'm going to say for me personally, I liked all the screams. You know, I love slasher flicks. This one was extremely underwhelming. I thought it was going to be better than what it was. Um, it wasn't a terrible movie. No, not by any means. I love seeing Sidney Prescott and Gail and then Dewey. I'm saying... I'm not, I wasn't excited about it. Um, there was nothing in there that scared me. And there were no jump scares. There was nothing that wasn't predictable. Okay. There it's were so some jump scares, but we're just veterans. So we don't none. jump at them. So, you know, don't, okay. don't steer the people hundred percent wrong. Cause they'll be up in that movie, maybe jumping left oh, or right, but we I'm don't, I'm saying, I'm saying we even don't. Even an average this, person, where'd you jump? This lady where? wakes up with horror movies. Okay. She goes That's to nothing. bed with horror movies. So no, she's not going to jump. So you can't gauge by her. That's all I'm saying. They can't gauge by Yes, you. they can, because this Unless is our opinion. No, that is our opinion. No, I'm, no, saying I'm not saying don't say your opinion. Your opinion counts. I'm saying they might not be able to gauge. Something might be more scary to them. Than it is to you. I'm telling from my point of you, view, though. You no watch jump scares. horror movies and study serial killers 24 <laughs> 7. <laughs> what is all this criminal psychology? Somebody know, has to do I it. I know plenty of people that don't like horror movies. They get scared like that. They would jump left and right. That's, I don't even have nightmares about horror. I mean, I have no. nightmares about real people. We're not I've talking never... about you right now. Yes, we are, because it is my opinion. I'm saying there were no jump scares. You it was not scary. Saying. In fact, you I'm, I'm, saying, I'm a lover of gore in horror movies, okay? No, the, I the gore get, wasn't which, even medium. It was no, here, here, it wasn't. small, medium, large, and it wasn't even medium. I'm just like, no, it wasn't. And I get what you're saying. I'm saying somebody would, you know, whoever's watching this, you know how much she loves horror movies. So if you're a really mm. scary person, you might jump. She would not jump. I did not jump. That's it wasn't what I'm scary. Saying. It wasn't good. It really good. wasn't that scary. It was I bland. It was okay, it was better than I expected. Regurgitated. To be. And I and she's saying regurgitated. I feel like it was just no homage because look. So we said twenty five years. This is twenty five mm -hmm. years from the original killings, but it's also the actual movie was. It came out twenty five years and twenty five days since that original film's release. I like stuff so like that. About, yeah, I like anniversary stuff. You know, like that. Yeah. But the and I get that it's an homage. So before you say it, in the beginning you get the same thing callers calling on the phone all of a sudden you realize it's not them now they're harassing That's me oh my god i'm getting to, scared to, to do Drew barrymore and in the first one and yes all and i get yeah. it and it was done way before a scream ever happened there are movies yeah, that did exactly why that haven't too. you checked on the children she calls the police and finds out that the caller is calling from in the house oh my god and the kids are upstairs on the babysitter million times it's i get the amount but it just wasn't good though I thought it, it was, was under i was so under well so let's talk about the clappers then. No, no, right, I then, didn't hate then, it. I'm saying then it was give underwhelming. It the give it the clappers. I man. wouldn't even watch it again. I would watch it again. Okay, I'm Maybe going. Maybe not paying to see it at the movies again, but once it came on Netflix or TV, you know, something like you know, whatever. I would definitely. There's watch a, it there's again. one point in there where you may get a little shocked because I was and my, I, I was sad. I was, I was, I was sad. Too and sad. Was, we're not going to tell you, of course, but that part in there did throw me, well, it didn't throw me off, but I was just kind of shocked to see what had happened. But I wouldn't watch it again. Even, I mean, it wasn't even like a fun watch for me. It was just kind of like this. This is for me. This was me in the theater. The I time. thought it was decent. I don't feel like I wasted my time, effort, or money. But matinee, go yes. And, go ahead and give it your clappers. Matinee, I would say, yeah, matinee. I don't take it. If you got like four kids and they want to see this, I, <laughs> I would definitely. I mean, it's rated R. Right? It is some killing in it. People so. talk about it. Are they're talking about it a lot on social media? So if you're one of the people like me that likes to make sure you get it watched before, go to the theater. Otherwise, I would say wait. Especially if you got a large family, I wouldn't even go to the matinee to see it. 
I wouldn't recommend you taking a bunch of kids to the matinee or teenagers I personally or whatever. I took my kid to see this movie. Oh, see, but, yeah. yeah, see, and we're different on there. My nieces love this crazy stuff. I mean, he's stuff. older now, like so me, now but he can see whatever the heck he wants. But I'm saying, yeah. if he was little, little, I wouldn't mm. have taken him to see it. Yeah, see, we're we're all different. My mm-hmm. nieces love it. They sit here and watch Eli Roth's clown over and over and over again, and we know he eats kids and Chuck E. Cheese in that movie. Mm-hmm. But again, you know, you know your children what they can watch. I'm just seeing for this one. Maybe it's because Wes isn't here. I I don't know. I I'm giving it two and a half clappers. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a solid three. I really am because I thought it was decent. And like I said, when I went and I saw it, it was a little bit better than what I expected. So you know, and and I like homages and stuff too. And I and it was it followed the scream formula. Like you just gotta expect that from Scream. It's gonna follow their formula. It followed the formula. Just okay. an updated one. And there was a little extra we have here. Roger L. Jackson. Mm-hmm. He is the voice on the phone. The voice, Ghostface. Yep. I love that voice. <laughs> when he starts getting creepy. Because first you, they're talking. Oh, hey, yeah. You think, you know, you're talking to Then all of a sudden his voice turns into this creepy. <laughs> and I just freaking, you know, I will love that as part of the voice of my phone. Like doing my GPS. <laughs> I know, right? That would, oh, that would be fantastic. That would be good. <laughs> would be good. do that. Whoever is watching Please. this, if you know whoever does the voice of the GPS. Sell it to Google. They will buy it. it. That and yeah. Samuel L. Jackson's voice. If you can get those two, I will love Google forever. Okay? Yeah. There's no extra scenes at the end of this either. No extra scenes. No. Nope. So once it's over, it's over. Okay. Well, you know what? Again, I'm going to say the girls did a great job in here. They weren't damsels. And I love when I see that. So I give them that much. But... Anywho, we got our reviews. I got two and a half. Jules gives it a three. Cool. Uh, Don't forget, we are on Facebook. We are on YouTube. We are on Instagram. Like, subscribe, and we'll see you later. (laughs) Bye-bye. Bye-bye.